staying motivated during the struggle and staying motivated during this whole shelter in place and COVID-19 and um, you know it's it's something that that we're dealing with every day of trying to you know push through and and still put in the reps and still put in our sales calls and still make stuff happen while this whole pandemic is going on and while there's a lot of stuff in the media and all those things and I just wanted to shed some light on kind of my personal experience and the things that have helped me in the past um, when I'm going you know through a slump or having a, a tough time uh, after being in the industry for you know almost 16 years uh, there's definitely been some ups and downs guys you know after you've been on a lot of battles a lot of appointments you've closed a lot of transactions you've seen it all you've been through the ringer and you know anybody who's a veteran in the industry can probably say the same but for some of the, the newer people or even just anyone going through a tough time uh, I think the biggest thing that we got to realize is that staying motivated uh, really has to do with us and it really has to do with your mindset and how you treat your business and how you look at your business and how you see yourself. And, you know, there was a quote that I, I saw uh, online that really spoke out to me. And that was, you know, you got to get up every morning with determination if you're going to go to bed with satisfaction every single night and getting that determination every single day, guys, that's, that's the hard part, right? When, when things aren't going your way or, you know, things are looking like doom and gloom in the, in the media, it's hard to stay motivated sometimes. So, one of the things that has worked for me is really focusing on why I'm in the business, why I chose real estate, why I chose to pick this, this career that is challenging and, and has its ups and downs. And I think, you know, for the people who are just dabbling in the business and not really going all in and not really playing, you know, big, like really trying to go all the way and trying to push their themselves to the next level, um, and kind of just playing lightly with with this business it's really easy to get off track it's really easy to start something and then quit when the stakes aren't high enough when there's not a big enough reason when there's not a big enough why um, and that's really the message that I want to bring to you guys is if, if you're feeling stuck or you're feeling like you go through a roller coaster with your business where you're you're high on life for one moment and then you know and then something happens and you're down and out and you're, you're unmotivated how do you get yourself out of that funk? And my recommendation and my advice is that you have to set a bigger why. You have to set a bigger reason on, on why you chose to get into this business. If you're just simply in this type of business or in any sort of endeavor just for money or just for a, you know, a quick you know, satisfaction or, or something that's, that's gonna be quick, you're, it's something that you will give up quickly as well, right? Um, think about, you know, what can you do? Where can you take this? What levels can you achieve? You know, is there something bigger behind why you're doing this? Why do you want to be successful? Why do you want to be in this business? Why do you want to do real estate? Uh, or why do you want to do anything, right? I know for me, the light bulb that went off for me several years back was, you know, I've had success, I've made money, I've lost money, I've been through the ringer, but it wasn't until I really took a step back and started doing this business for a different reason and that was really to impact people and starting to see the impact that I can have on on my team on on my company on my peers on uh, you know on our clients on our community and people that I come in touch with and really it changed my mindset it changed my perspective of why I was doing this business it was no longer about the money it was no longer just about being successful it was about creating something that people will remember for years to come creating a legacy for myself creating a legacy for my family and leaving people better off than than when I found them and when I really set my mind to that the fire was lit you know it, it wasn't something where uh, I can just you know forget about it right it was something where I can wake up every day with a bigger purpose a bigger meaning so for anyone out there going through a struggle I would just really you know encourage you to sit down and take some time to write something down, to write down what your vision is for yourself, for your future, for your family, for your career, and really dive deep and peel the onion back, peel the layers back of why you are doing what you are doing. What's the bigger meaning? Maybe it starts off with money or financial gain, but why do you need that financial gain? What is that gonna allow you to do? What's that gonna allow you know, your family to do? And when you can put a bigger prize or a bigger goal in mind or a bigger vision for yourself uh, something that you wake up every single day you know fired up you're never gonna lose motivation yeah there will be times when it's hard 
yeah, there will be times when it's difficult, but you cannot lose motivation on something that is life changing or something that is, you know, bigger than you. So guys, I, I hope this really maybe can open some perspective uh, and give you guys some insight on maybe some things that you can change about how you view yourself, how you view your business so that you can push through those difficult times, whether it's now or difficult times to come, there's always going to be those obstacles and you're going to have to really dig deep to figure out why you are doing this. Once you can unlock that guys, I promise you, you will always stay motivated and you will always want to do what it takes to get to the next level. So I hope that finds you well guys. Enrique, commission only. Talk soon.